What's up, Mouth Pagers? Wow, happy Wednesday. Yam Revi E. I hope everyone's had a wonderful week so far and a great day. Come on, hair. Okay, here we go. I am Rabbi Yak, located in Santa Rosa, outside of San Francisco. Yes, I am a rabbi. I know, I get that all the time. It's like, but, what? No, there's no, what? I'm confused. I am a rabbi. Yes, I am. I got the black outfit, got the hat, glasses, the curly hair. Yeah, I got all that stuff. We're an online spiritual community, an online Jewish synagogue. Let's do a quick sound check, make sure everything's sounding good. Testing, 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 yeah, testing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Happy Wednesday. Yam Revi E. Let's kick it off. A week now motivations. But before we do, see, I, I got to hang you. I got to leave you hanging. Kind of like a, a soap opera. You know, where did we leave off last night? We've been going live now for 93 weeks. And we just surpassed. Past 150,000. We just went over 150,000 die hard mouth pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. Wow. 150,000. Wow. That is awesome. That is so awesome. That is amazing. That is crazy. So thank you so much. Let's continue to grow our community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, connect with, the more people we can help grow spiritually. Let's do the Shema, Declaration of Faith in One God. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kavod Mahuto Le'olam Ve'ed. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. God first, God first, God first. All right, here we go. So it's Halloween time. All we're gonna do this month is talk about different scenarios and how we can relate Halloween to what we do. Because think about it. I mean, first of all, we all know this is my favorite holiday. I've been saying it all week. I love Halloween. This is the greatest time of year now i know some people think well you're dark you're demented you're a little morbid i am all those things you bet i am but that doesn't mean that i don't put god first because if you don't attack and face evil head on then what i'll leave that question mark for you because for me I need to know what's truly out there in the world. I do. Because you can turn on the TV and you can watch all these cool things and every show that you watch has a happy ending. That's awesome. But I know that's not how life really is because there's a lot of horrible endings. But for me, I know how life could be great even in a bad situation I make the best of it that's where God comes into play so Halloween time so last night we talked about love you the same right but so tonight we're going to talk about overcoming obstacles so how many of us went trick-or-treating in a cold weather state Colorado. Now, for those of you who are kind of nodding, going, you know, shaking your head, going, yeah, think about this. It's October 31st, it's Halloween night, and it's snowing. I've been there many times. Now, what do you do? Do you sit down and watch TV? No, you do not. No, you do not. Your mom pulls you in. She puts on your coat. She zips your jacket. She throws your costume over your jacket. She puts your gloves on. She puts your mask on over your stocking cap. You put on your boots, or if you didn't have boots, you put on a plastic bag 
All you people out there who are like, oh, the environment. You put on a plastic bag. There's great uses for plastic bags. So for those of you in California who use a paper bag to carry your groceries in the rain, I'm laughing because that's just funny. That's like when I was in the military and they're having us paint in the rain. Are you kidding me? Are you painting in the rain? <laughs> How stupid is that? But we did it. If you think I'm lying, ask. <laughs> we're 300 people that were with me. I'm like, we're painting in the rain. Are you kidding me? Here we are. It's raining. You put on your plastic bag. You put on your socks. You put on your shoes because your parents didn't want you to get sick. But you're still trick-or-treating in the cold, in the cold. And you're out there with gloves on. Your costume looks all skewed up because you've got this big puffy jacket on and the gloves and all your warm stuff. But you're still out there. You're still out there. It's cold. It's it's miserable. Now, with, with snow, Halloween doesn't become so scary. So that's scenario one. How about scenario two? The rain. Now that's the best part. You've got lightning coming. You've got rain coming. Mike Myers and Jason Voorhees, they are coming at you. Freddy Krueger will be right behind both of them because when it's raining and it's lightning, it is creepy Halloween weather. Same scenario applies. Mom is dressing you up to keep warm so you don't miss school tomorrow. You won't get sick. You get warm, you get rain protection, and you get your costume on. Here you are with this big puffy jacket with this like weird looking Spider-Man outfit on. But you're out there trick-or-treating for candy. Overcoming obstacles. That is awesome. And all, all the people that I know or are watching this show or people around my age or even a little older are going, man, I remember that. Now let's look at 2018. Man, we can't even get kids outside in the street to play tag. <laughs> We've got pooper scooper people walking around with plastic bags when their dog takes a poop. <laughs> For what? Nobody's out running around playing, so no one's going to step in it. But think about that. We're overcoming obstacles. We don't blame anybody. We didn't blame God saying, gosh darn it, God, what are you doing having it right? No. We attacked the situation. So when something bad happened in our lives, our parents taught us how to overcome anything. That's why I have such good work ethic. My siblings have great work ethic. Seriously. I mean, I go to I go to work like deathly sick. I, I, I do. I have the shakes and the chills. Here I am, you know, over 40, and I'm still going to work. Someone in my, in, 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 that I love dear dies. I don't blame God for it. I don't. I just pray for them, hoping that God, they prayed to God and they believed in God that they go to heaven. That's what I do. Now you can call me morbid. You can call me, oh, not sensitive. Well, I don't care. You can call me all those things all you want. But it's true. Because we have to learn how to overcome, adapt, and improvise. That's military lingo. But seriously, if we do, we have to learn that stuff. It's sad if we lose someone. It's sad if you get fired from a job. It's horrible if bad things happen to us. But we have to learn how to overcome and adapt. In my neighborhood, if it was snowing, cops would still show up. Mail people would still deliver mail. Firefighters, heck, we went to school in the snow. Ask my parents, ask my sisters. We went to school in the snow. It was snowing so bad. We were like, my sister would always wake up, turn on the TV every morning. We were like, oh, God, we're going to go to school again. Oh, we were so mad. Never had a snow day. I wouldn't say never. We had like, I think, what, three snow days from like elementary school to high school. Three snow days. 
now. Ask yourself, how many days do you get off if there's a little bad weather? We didn't have that stuff because we went trick-or-treating. And the next day we went to school. Sneezing, coughing, had all that stuff. We overcome the obstacles. Cops, firefighters, male people, doctors, nurses, military. Now, I was a cop and I was in the military. And bad weather or not, I've been out in horrible weathers, snowing and raining, typhoons. I've been there. I've done it. Heat, whatever. I've been out there. I worked in bad weather as a pol as a police officer, and let me tell you, trying to catch a high speed pursuit in the snow is hilarious because they're going twenty and I'm going twenty. <laughs> we're like trying to catch each other. They're trying to outrun me. I'm trying to catch them, and we're both slipping and sliding. I I'm not giving up, and I'm not blaming anybody for it. Today's society, what are we doing? Well, what are we doing? It's Halloween. If it's snowing, what are we doing? If it's raining, what are we doing? Are we going out there? Are we overcoming that? We have to make the difference. We have to make our changes and stop blaming. I see it so many times. Something bad happens, we blame. Now, I, when I say we, I'm not saying we in general. I'm saying we and other generals, because other people do. I see it all the time, because if we don't attack the situation in a corrective solution type of way, then what are we doing? Because I, I turn on the TV and I watch comedians. Right away, a comedian might say something. Right away, I'm like doing this. Since when? Why did I become like that? Now, if you're looking at me going, uh, did we do it too? Do you do it too? Seriously, do you do it too? I am saying you. Do you do it too? Aha, there you go. See? Because if I say we, we kind of just ignore it. If I say you, we're like, oh, is he talking to me? Yeah, I am talking to you like Uncle Sam. I want you, right? It's you. Because you make the difference. You can change the world because you can make it a better place. This Halloween time is all about you. Think about that. Think about the obstacles. Think about when you, you yourself, when you were young and your parents had you out there trick-or-treating in bad weather. It taught us so much appreciation about life. And I am not kidding. I remember my mom gave us pillowcases to trick or treat in. Now, if you think I'm laughing at it, if you think I'm lying, I am not. We did because we used to have come back those little bitty plastic pumpkins, well, throw those in the garbage. They go buy those at the retail store. My mom looked at these things and said, this will last you an hour. Throw that away. She gave you a pillowcase. And we dressed warm. We looked like the Campbell's Soup commercial where your mom dressed you up in a big puffy jacket and my mom throws like a Superman little shirt on there so it looks like I got a costume. And I'm out there getting Halloween, mostly for dad so he can eat the candy. But regardless, I was out there because it taught you how to not be afraid. You think my parents were out there behind me when I was like 11 or 12? No. Yeah, on your own. I didn't want my mom or dad with me when I was 16 years old. And I pity anybody who tried to jump us. They'd be running to the police department. That's the difference. There was no obstacles that we couldn't overcome. None. We didn't blame race. We didn't blame religion. We didn't blame God. We blamed nobody. It was snowing. It was cold. We were still out there. That's what separates us. That's what makes who we are. 
yeah, Halloween might be a weird holiday to some people or for some groups or cultures who didn't have this and where they grew up. And that's great. That's fine. But the learning lesson, the teaching lesson for those who live here, who are from here, who have experienced Halloween, you know what I'm talking about. Because it's not just a holiday. It's what we were taught. It was how we overcome, overcame obstacles. We sucked it up. We grinded it out. We walked through the cold, the heat, the rain, the wetness. We did it. We did it. You wear your moon boots or those snow boots if it's snowing or wet. Or like I said, my mom, we have plastic bags tying around our feet. Put the socks and shoes on. And our shoes after we're done would just be dripping. But we would have a pillowcase full of candy. Overcoming obstacles. And guess what? You're able to overcome anything as you get older. Anything. I go to a restaurant and the food's bad. I complain to the manager. I don't run to the computer and start typing reviews about it. I don't do that. First of all, I'm, I'm not gonna, you're not going to see me type a 20-page report on how bad the service was. All my friends and family who've been with me know that you don't want to get on my bad side because I will call you out right there. I will say it to your face. And I will embarrass the entire restaurant. But I am not going to tattletale on you on a flipping internet site. I won't do that. My parents taught me that. You direct it forward. You say it forward. And it's done. It's over. I want something to eat. I go online. Where's the closest place? I don't look at reviews. I just want what's close. I want pizza. Just what's close. Oh, so-and-so was upset because I, I don't care. Just where is it at? I just want to go. And let me try it for myself. Because I'm not going to take someone's word for it. I want to take my own word for it and find out if it's good because my taste buds are different. you got to overcome the obstacles. This is how we were taught. This is how we were raised. We have got to start overcoming obstacles and making the best of a bad situation. That's the moral of the story here, people. Because my parents wanted us to overcome any obstacle. If it's bad weather, you still go out and do what you needed to do. Because with God, God wants to teach us that same lesson. You're going to see sorrow. You're going to see pain. You're going to see cold. You're going to see wet. You're going to see heat. You're going to see good. You're going to see bad. You're going to see the ugly. You are. But when something like that happens, you don't just start pointing fingers at God and say, I don't believe in God anymore because of God did this. Well, how come we didn't do that when we were kids? How come we didn't blame God? Oh, it snowed. I didn't go get any candy. I blame God. Wait, wait a minute. That's because our parents prepared us. They prepared us. For any situation, just like law enforcement prepared me for any situation. The what if. Cops, when I was in training, that's what they taught us. The what if. What if it snows? What if it rains? What if they do this? What if they pull a gun? What if they pull a knife? What if. Military, same thing. They prepared you for the worst. We were in gas chambers in boot camp. So you understand what it's like to have a chemical situation in your life. We did. We were prepared for that. Our parents prepared us for bad situations. That is overcoming obstacles. Halloween time. You're out there trick-or-treating. Be prepared for bad weather. Any situation in life, be prepared. Amen. Everybody's like, whoa, you just went crazy, craziness tonight. I love you all so much. Let's pray for healing prayers for everyone who needs it. I've got a bunch of lists here. Healing prayers for Danica. 
for CJ's father who is was involved in an accident. I, I, I have to say this before I go. I, I spoke to CJ last week, and he was telling me that his dad was involved in an accident. And I, I, I'm not making joke. I'm not making fun. But he told me that he said that he hoped that his dad didn't reckon to Bigfoot. And I kind of chuckled, and I didn't understand what he's talking about. But in Eureka, California, it's actually the home of Bigfoot. There's actually a huge Bigfoot statue, and there's actually signs about Bigfoot in Eureka. So when he said that, I thought he was, I was like, what's he talking about Bigfoot? I thought he was like having like a sarcastic sense of humor about an accident. But he's serious. There's actually Bigfoot sightings. It's like home of Bigfoot in Eureka, California. So it, it was interesting to hear that. But pray for CJ's dad on his surgery today for getting better. I just went on a tangent on that because I just thought it was interesting that I heard the word Bigfoot. And I was like, well, he's talking about Bigfoot. I thought he was being joking, but no, he was being serious. There's it's home of Bigfoot. Pray for Tony, for Rudy, for Sessie, for Kenny, for Lolly, for Pete, for Arthur, for Virginia, for Elsie, for Mary, for Jim, for Misty, for Marlo, for Marty, for Mikey, Maria, Andrea, Alfonso, Brett's family, Christine's family, Betty Ann's family, Nancy's daughter. Marcus, Gerald, Terry, Tanya, Thomas, Tomas, Jesus, Juan, Juanito, Juanita, Marcella, Marcelo, Sean, Riley, Horant, Rula, Samir, Rochelle, Richelle, David, Charles, and Chuck. And Hinimatuvu Manayam Shevachem Gemakai. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity. I want to thank you all for watching tonight and for being the best part of Malpay. Check us out every Monday through Thursday live at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For Pacific Daylight Time. There you go. I love you all so much. Check us out. Check out our Shabbat to go service on Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. I love you all so much. Help others be nice. God bless. Lalito. Amen.